Today, I failed at my attempt to groom Pearl, the seven-year-old cat that is surely planning my imminent death. treats? Not really? Not particularly? Here, look. No? Not all animals can or should be groomed. And today I discovered just that when trying to work on this feisty little feline. I could tell that she was very nervous before I started, and I could also tell how much she loved pets. So I did my best to make her calm and comfortable by giving her some love. So I just set up her bathtub with warm water and de-shedding shampoo, the fluff off de-shedding shampoo. It's safe for both dogs and cats. Now that that's set up, I'm going to trim her nails first and then I will put her in the tub. The reason why I set the tub up first before I do anything is because the sounds of the water and you know the water hitting the tub and all, everything like that might scare a cat because cats are very sensitive to noise. So I always make sure that this is done first before I put the cat anywhere near the bathtub. Okay, this cat is moving a lot. She's very affectionate, very um, loving, but she won't stop moving. So what I'm going to do to get her to stop moving is put the happy hoodie on her head. <laughs> some cats try to take it off, some cats just freeze. Oh, you are a smart cat. Okay, let's see if you let me trim. Hey, hey, hey. She is a feisty one. This might be a, okay, okay. All right, you are feisty. You are very feisty. Looks like we're doing the happy hoodie and the trouble bubble. No, 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 stay where you are. Okay, you are going to be a little bit of a handful, I feel. I think you already know that. Okay, I think she's gonna be a little bit difficult just because of how much she moves. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Before I have done even anything, this cat's already extremely stressed out just from having the happy hoodie and the trouble bubble on her head. She's panting, which means she's stressed. The problem with this is that those two things not only help her, but they also keep me safe. So if she's going to freak out and panic like this, it might be extremely difficult for me to groom her without myself getting injured or her getting injured. So I'm gonna give her a minute to calm down and then I'm going to try to clip her nails again without anything on her head and see if I'm able to control her. If I can't, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shave her butt because that seems to be the biggest problem. I'm gonna call the owner and I'm gonna send her home because she's actually not matted. So this isn't a cat that needs to be forced into grooming if she can't tolerate it. Okay, can we try this again? Can we try this again? Can you let me touch your nails? It's okay. No, 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 you can't jump down. And she's hissing. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so she's growling, her tail is whipping. <sighs> 
I don't think you're a cat that's groomable. I think I have to give up on you. Hmm? Hmm? You let me brush you? Okay. Let's see if I can trim your butt. Can I trim your butt? Okay. Are you still panting? No, you can't jump down. Can you let me brush you? You like the brush? Okay. It seems we've made a friend with the brush. Why are you shaking? With that tail whip again, you're still mad? No. You really like having your head pet. I can see that. Some people are professional cat groomers. Maybe they have other methods here with cats. For me, if a cat panics the way that she did, and that was just over having the happy hoodie on her head, I can only imagine what she's going to do for the bath or the dryer. If I can put the trouble bubble on her head, then it's fine. And as long as she's doesn't freak out about having it on her head, then everything's fine. I can deal with a difficult cat, but if she's going to freak out like that, She's gonna hurt herself. It's not going to be good for me or for the cat, right? Cats are super sensitive and some of them can be groomed as adults, but many of them need to start grooming at a young age in order to be okay with it. You're okay. You're okay. You are very vocal. This would probably be only the second cat that I've had to turn away without completing so far. Every single cat has been okay with the happy hoodie and the trouble bubble. Very few, and I'm gonna say the most intelligent of the cats, know how to take it off, or if they freak out, then I can't help them. Or instead of help them, if they freak out, then I can't do the job. Most cats don't realize that, so they let it happen. It's okay. You're not gonna let me trim your nails, so I can't even remove those defense mechanisms. Can you keep your head up like this, or is that a problem? Good cat. Good kitty. Kitty. She said that her chest gets in her food. Please don't bite me. I feel like you're thinking about it. Ma'am, can I check your other paws? I just wanna make sure your nails are okay after your whole freak out. Sometimes if a cat freaks out like that, um, they, re they put, retract their claws and it can you know, grab onto something and just pull them right off. Um, if they freak out, there's only so much we can do to stop them. So I just wanna check her nails to make sure they're okay or not. Okay, have you had enough? I didn't really get to do a great job on you. As a groomer, it's important to know when to proceed and when to back down. Obviously, if a pet is matted, then we have no choice but to try and get the job done as safely as possible. In this case, I made the call to end the session and call the owner. In my professional opinion, proceeding with this groom would be unethical. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you again in a few days.